I don't even know if you believe in ghosts or not. But even if you don't, I bet you have a scary story that comes to mind from time to time. Maybe one your granddaddy told you, or somebody told you around a campfire. Mine is bloody bones. I hadn't thought of bloody bones in years. It's funny that you never think of these scary stories until you find yourself kind of in a creepy situation. Like when your legs are dangling over the bed at night, or you're standing in front of the bathroom mirror, and you're really afraid to look because you're scared something will appear over your shoulder. But one of the scariest places I ever found myself was one night coming out of the deep dark woods and happening upon a lonely, secluded road. Is there anything more spooky? This is the setting for vanishing hitchhikers and the setting for the couple that was parked out on Lover's Lane and found the hook on the door when they got back home. We have some of the most haunted roads anywhere right here in Mississippi. Take it from me, I know a thing or two about Mississippi roads. One of the most haunted crossroads in the world is in Clarksdale, Mississippi. But even as strange as that story is, it's not the strangest haunted road story in Mississippi. No, that honor belongs to this road. This is Nash Road. It's just outside of Columbus. And on this very road, if you have the skill and the nerve, you can challenge an actual ghost to a race. Now let me warn you, this ghost has a leg up on you. Let me tell you about it. Once upon a time, it wasn't a stormy night, but it sure was a dark night. When a young joyriding couple decided they would invent a new, dangerous game. The rules, if you call them that, were simple. Race towards a bend in the road, turn off your headlights, then see just how far you're willing to go. Unfortunately, for a poor single mother and her cherished young child, the answer was too far. Look out! Startled, the driver's instinct wasn't to swerve or hit the brake, but rather slam on the horn. Honk! Boom! Shot. Silence. No one spoke. No one breathed. Everyone finally turned to look. In the glow of the brake lights, the figure of the broken woman. Clutching in her hand all that remained of her young daughter. Silence. And then she screamed. A scream that chilled to the bone. Then she leapt, slamming the leg down on the roof. Bang! 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 Drive! And he did. Tires spun, gravel spewed, boom! They were off. But the woman, in pain and shock and rage, with the leg still in her hand, gave chase. Go! Go! I am going! Well, then go faster! And they did. Never looking back, never to return, and never speaking of that night again. But like all good ghost stories, that was just the beginning. Because from that very day, legend has it, you can visit Nash Road on a dark, dark night. And if you stop just before the right bend. I think this is it. They all look the same. And turn off your headlights. Okay. Turn off the headlights. Nothing's happening. I knew it. Horn. What? You have to honk the horn. Three times. Huh? You have to honk the horn three times. That was one. Do it. Whatever. That's two. That's three. Showtime. What the actual? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You should drive. Go! She's coming! I know! Go, 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 go!
go, 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 go! Where? Where what? Where do we go? I don't know. You don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> hey, it's not my legend. Try the old church. What old church? Oh, I don't know. There's always an old church or a bridge or something. You know, you gotta go past it before the ghost. Before what? Well, you know. There's a gate. Is it the gate? Should we try to pass the gate? That sounds like a great idea. I was going to get out of that story. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time for all of our stories from the storyteller's chair. We'll drag it back out again, tell more stories from it later. Maybe not just Halloween stories next time. But since it is Halloween, watch out for the ghosts, goblins, and people flying around in chairs. I'm Walt Bryson. Good night.